What's going on people, it's Greg with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to send an email with a hyperlink that uses a variable. So it's going to be a hyperlink sent based on a cell value. So let's get right into it. Alright, so I've got a list of shipping or tracking numbers for four different individuals. So I have Leonardo, Michelangelo, Donatello, and Raphael. And they each have their own tracking number for their orders. And then we have this random website I made up that I didn't make up. It probably exists, but um, each is uh, combined with shipping.com and has its unique link that you can see here with its own tracking number. And then each individual has their own email address. So what I want to do is create and send out an email that is unique to each individual. And the, each email will use a hyperlink that's unique to that individual. So I'll call this sub um, send hyperlink with variable. All right, let's declare our variables. We've got out app as object, out mail as object. Um, let's do str body for the string body. It's going to be a string. Um, let's have one for the name. That's going to be a string. Uh, also, the link. So this here, uh, website link. It's going to be a string. And then their email address. That's going to be a string. And in order to do this, let's go ahead and insert a column and uh, all right, so I'm going to type here, let's say, all right, let me go ahead and put like a button here. So I can insert an icon. Let's go with mail. Let's use this. Insert. So if you didn't know, you can assign a macro to any shape. So I can just assign this here. So now when I click this, it'll run this macro I have. All right, so I have that. Now for this cell, I want it to be in regards to the name. I'm gonna go ahead and use um, data validation and create a list. Is it this one? Yeah. So allow list. The source is gonna be here. Enter, okay. So now I'll have these four different names to choose from here with a drop down. All right. We could center that up. The link, I'm gonna use an index match. So what I want is output from this, these four cells, and I want to match them against this cell no sorry I want to match this cell against these cells and I want an exact match that's why I put zero there okay so now I have that copy that format over same here and then this is gonna be the same thing except I want the email addresses so I'm gonna pull this this is right B needs to be here and then this needs to be here all right so we're good on that so now as I change the names I'm gonna get their individual tracking number and email addresses all right so let's go back to the code let's declare this sheet sheet one let's declare this uh, let's call it SH. 
All right, so we're gonna sell, set out app equal to create object outlook application and then out mail it's going to be out app create item and then let's set sh equal to this workbook and then sheets and we're going for sheet one here so now whenever I reference sheet one I can just put sh alright so now let's go ahead and figure out what these are gonna be these three so let's start off with name so name is gonna be equal to sh and then I want cells down one over two, so one, two. And I want the text in that cell. So this is gonna grab me this cell, B2. B, B two. And then I'll go ahead and copy that twice. So then email is gonna be the same thing except over one. And then I'm sorry, link is gonna be the same thing over one. Email is the same thing over two. So two, three, four, got it. All right, so now I'm gonna work on the, st the string of my body. So str body is gonna be equal to Body style, let's go with this uh, font size. Let's do 12 point. Font family, let's go with Arial. And then I'm running out of space, so I'm gonna continue on to the next line. So I just need to use an ampersand and an underscore and go to the next line and keep it going. So I'm gonna say hello and then their name. So Type name here, and there's gonna be a comma after that. And then I'm gonna do a paragraph break. So I'm going down two lines, and I'm gonna say, what am I gonna say? All right, so your package is on its way, exclamation point. And Let's see. Let's continue this line, ampersand underscore. I can say, please see tracking information. And then here's my hyperlink. I'm gonna put my hyperlink right here. So let's just go to another line. So what I'm gonna do is a href equals, and now I'm gonna put my link here so link and then this is going to be the name of my hyperlink so I'm just going to say I'm just going to call it here And then I'm gonna do a paragraph break, keep it going. And then I'm just gonna say, end it with best regards. Another break here, Greg. All right. So on to this, on air resume next. And then I'm gonna say without mail, I'm gonna send this to their email, so whatever email address we have for them, so the email. And then CC no one, BCC no one. And the subject, let's go with 
order update and that's we can include the date might as well format date let's go with this format And then here, display, we're gonna display the email before it gets sent out. Now I have HTML body equals str body and HTML body. So I'm gonna end the width on error, go to zero. Set out mail to nothing and then set out app to nothing. All right, so that should be it. Let's see what happens. So we start off with Leonardo. Let's click it. Boom. So we got Leo at tmnt.com. Order update today's date, October 15, 2020. Hello Leonardo, your package is on its way. Please see tracking information here. And then the hyperlink is at shipping.com tracking-123. Just like we wanted it. So I can, oops. I can change the name here. Everything will get updated. And you see the email change, the name change, and the hyperlink change. So yeah, that's all I had for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a good one. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Peace.